Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening. Good whatever time you're watching this. This is a super static day. I got to 250 subs. You know what that means? That Q&A that I promised. Now, I did get a little bit of flack when I first posted it. I think on Reddit, it, or the video on Reddit, when I was like, Hey, I want to do this. And they're like, I ah, probably shouldn't do this. Because, you know, people are only just going to stay if you give away, and that's going to be pretty much it. Well, I wanted to do it anyways because I want to do something interactive. So I'm going to do this anyways. And I probably should have had this scripted, but uh, I don't script anything as part of my improv thing. I very, very rarely have anything scripted. I'll write down a few notes of what I need, and usually that's it. So here we are, Q&A. So I asked uh, Instagram, Twitter, and a couple of Discord group chats that I'm in for questions on myself channel could have been anything whatever so uh, some of these things I asked in a group chat so I'm not sure if they really particularly pertain to this or if they were just asking questions for anything in general but I'm going to presume that they are so the first section of questions I think I'm gonna go to Instagram so I'm gonna go on my phone here quickly because first question is from Slipknot is what inspired you to start YouTube and if it's just because you love to play games what game made you realize that you wanted to pursue YouTube ooh it's a good question very very good question uh way back when ooh there's a train nice um sorry distracted uh way back when i think in high school so there would have been already would have been grade 10, 11, probably yeah, halfway through grade 10, mostly in grade 11. Um, I'm not going to lie about this. I've been in wanting to become a YouTuber for a very long time. Uh, when I was younger, and this was started all the way in grade 7, so I would have been, I don't know how long ago with that. Was that way too, way too long ago, probably like 13, 14. Uh, I started originally a stop motion Lego ch channel uh, by the name of Fallen Bricks. Now it got some attraction, not a lot, but I w was doing that through, you know, junior high or your freshman years or whatever you want to call it. So the seven, eight, nine, in grade ten, I was kind of still doing it. I was kind of phasing out of it. I was kind of working on this big plan, this big plot, and then it kind of just phased out because. I didn't have the time to do it between school and studies and stuff like that and stop motion is a ton of work. So what I ended up doing is, yeah, so basically every lunch hour we would watch YouTube videos on the phone, on my phone or somebody's phone or whatever they were. And we typically, back then, I watched a lot of Vanoss and his group and what they were doing and how much fun they were having because my group of friends, we were pretty much the same way as you know, Vanos's group does. They literally just make jokes at each other, have fun, laugh, have big debates and stuff like that. Like we were a nerdy bunch, we still are. But originally, they they're like, "Well, we have these gaming channels, and so why don't you start one?" And I was like, "Well, I don't have the equipment to. I don't have all the stuff, and whatever else." So I kind of once I got a better computer, I was able to just stream it to my computer and then record that. So I think there's a couple of that that's like super cringy, but everyone's got to start somewhere. But I think initially it was that group, like watching Banos play Grand Theft Auto, Gmod, all that type of stuff, and realizing how much fun they were having with their friends outside of like them on their daily life. I wanted to have that with my friends and wanted, you know, to upload it, have fun, laugh, whatever else. And I think it got to a point where um, I was able to do that for a little while. We were, I was playing with my friends and we were having fun and whatever else, and I was just putting that up. I wasn't really editing it. I wasn't doing much because I wasn't putting very much effort into it at all. I was just uploading. So, uh, typically. I would say the answer to that question would be probably Vanos and my friends who kind of pushed me into this and then yeah now it is kind of where it's at now and I'm super thrilled 250 is a quarter of a way to a thousand and 
That's no small number. I mean, it's a small achievement, but the smallest achievements are the biggest. So, uh, and then what game? Probably Halo. I pretty much played Halo pretty religiously back then. So, like, any time that I could, at least one of the two weekend days, because I only played on the weekends, was just pure Halo. Pure Halo, Halo 4. Usually I played Skyrim all day Saturday, and then Halo 4. But when I first started, I recorded a lot, a lot of Halo. Halo was my game. Are you single? Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a relationship? No. I am very single. No girlfriend. No relationship. Uh, that was asked by Katie Kills and Talk a lot, or Talk a lot. I'm sorry if I'm butchering any of these names. Uh, so it's like, yeah, I very very single. Uh, I upload five videos a week. I don't really want that extra commitment right now. I mean, it would be nice, but it's not. It's not something I'm gonna go out of my way to go look for. If it so happens to be that it happens, then it happens. I'm not gonna fight that, I'm not gonna not put the effort in for that. It's just not number one on my priorities right now. Which is very weird for me to say because it's like, for the longest time that it was like, the only thing that I was missing that I wanted. But right now, I, I'm pretty okay where I'm at, and it's... I, it's not like I have so much going for me right now that I don't think about it all the time and it's not something that I don't get depressed over I don't get lonely. I do get lonely but you know it's not a overwhelmingness of loneliness so uh, yeah so like I said if it happens it happens then great I will put in that effort when it happens <laughs> I'll know and when it does then it'd be ye <laughs> How old are you? Uh, so, I'm 21. I'll be turning 22 later this year. Uh, so, still youngin'. Still babyface, sort of. Uh, do you have any pets? Technically, yes. Technically, no. Uh, I have three cats. Outside cats. Two of them aren't very friendly. They're, I mean, they still, like, like they'll pretty much run away from you. One of them is not bad when you give her food. And then the other one is just like, no, don't touch me. And then there, and then there's big, big floof, Kara, my favorite. Yes, I'm picking favorites, but she's just the one that, yeah, wants to be pet. I'll sit there, cuddle you, big floofy, sleepy kitty. <laughs> what is your favorite TV show out right now? So I'm assuming that means on running, and that's kind of an unfair question granted when these were asked most TV shows weren't on repeats or not on replays so because of this coronavirus thing and whatever else uh, most shows are replays or repeats or whatever so the favorite TV show that's running out right now gosh I don't even know I, got, I don't watch a lot of TV to be honest I play a lot of game, play a lot of video games. Um, there's one thing that I always sit down and watch and make time for, but it's on repeats now, so it's nothing new. But I always sit down and watch um, "This Is Us" with my mom. I do enjoy that show uh, as much as I might get judged for it and whatever else. I do enjoy that show. It's super good. It's, it's it hits a lot of heartstrings and you know, different elements and stuff like that, that it's like, ooh, some of the, some of the, it's very relatable, I guess, is the best way to put it. I don't think I've watched a show in my life that's been so relatable as to that show, and it, even if it's not like the same events, the way that they're feeling and whatever else, it's just like, you can relate to, like you can physically feel what they're feeling, it's very, it's very interesting. I'm going to go into a little bit more of the weird questions now. So, first one, so I don't... I kind of want to have been delaying this one for a long time, because this one is <laughs> something I do not want to answer. And the, an the question is, 
have you blank your pants in the last five years? <sighs> okay. Technically, no. I did get really sick one time. And I don't know what it was. It's probably some weird stomach flu. And it was flying out of me both ends. It was not fun. Uh, it was like three or four days out. I felt awful. You know, had the massive fever running up high. I think it was so bad to the point that I was like fainting even. And <laughs> I thought it was good. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, I took a shower. You know, you dry yourself off as you normally do. <laughs> I had to fart. <laughs> it was not a fart. <laughs> Yeah, so I had to grab a new towel, go back into the shower, <laughs> clean myself off again, <laughs> and dry myself off again. <laughs> to this day, if I have to fart, <laughs> I'm always very hesitant, <laughs> hesitant before releasing it. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> I can't believe it just admitted that, but that's, that's, yeah, that's what happened. So technically no, but in a sort of different way, yes. And that was in the last five years. Uh, boy TGS questions, where are my pants? <sighs> Alright, well, I guess, the, sorry bro, I borrowed them for a bit. You can have them back if you want. There you go. Eat. They're sitting on my sofa. That's over there. Come get him. Then he follows up with Donde Bueno Cosigue Una Chimichangas. I hope I pronounced that right. But I believe that translates to Where can I get a Chimichanga? And. Well. Check, check the pants pocket when uh, you get them back. <laughs> there'll be there's some there'll be some chimichangas, all right. All right, do I got any more questions? Oh yeah, I got another one here. Ever come to a point in your channel when you end a let's play of a game and not sure what to play next? I get like that a good bit at times. Lol. To be honest, I think when I was starting out doing Let's Plays more often, I think I did, was, and I was always running through the next thing, trying to figure out what was the next thing that I wanted to play. In the last probably half a year or so, I can say I haven't struggled with that, just because there's been so many new things and so many great games out. And if I do end up not deciding what I want to do, I always have something to fall back on. Like, I've been putting off playing through Spider-Man for however long now and that's kind of just my backup back burner I don't really the reason why I haven't done that game yet is because I have to hook up to my PlayStation I don't have a good setup of face cam and all that other type of stuff is the reason why I haven't I will set it up if I need to but if there's other games that grab my attention first I'll usually put those above that so, I can't say I really have struggled with that in the last little bit. Um, I think I'm going to when I finish Halo Fridays, when you know I stop running out of campaign missions to play for Halo. I think I'm going to be like, okay, well, what do I fill this Friday video with? Do I go back to um, just throwing in another edited video in there, or do I go back to... Or do I keep doing the Let's Plays on Fridays? I don't know. So kind of yes I'm struggling with that concept but not really because I'm not at that point yet so sort of but not really but yeah what else do I got 
I think that's pretty well it. I didn't get a super ton of questions, and to be honest, when, you know, I ended up getting to 250, this happened so fast. Like, these last few days are just up. Um, so I think I've answered most of them. Uh, let me just double check here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for helping me reach 250 subscribers. The next milestone, I'm going to double it and I'm going to put it 500. So I probably won't do another milestone video until 500 subscribers. And then from there, probably not until 1,000. I might do one at 750. I haven't decided yet. Oops. Um, but 500, next milestone. So you can try and get this. My goal is to have that by the end of the year. And then if we double that and get to a thousand by the end of the year, I'll do the game giveaway where I give away a deluxe edition of a game. Not the super exclusive special edition, but a deluxe edition of a game. If your pick, as long as I have a digital key to be able to gift you. Like, so if it's a game that's like uh, on Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, it's, I gotta make sure that I have a global key that I can give you so that, you know, I can actually, you know, gift you the game. Um, so, if I have to, push comes to shove, order a disc, I will. But, uh, digital key is preferred. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different. I enjoyed doing it. Um, I hope that I can do this again. Um, it's kind of fun. I want to do more videos like this where I'm interacting with people. Because I think it's good and it's fun and it gets people aware and it gets people into it so yes uh so yeah if you guys enjoyed my content make sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos i do five videos a week except for when something like this happens where i'm able to bing pop out another video for something like a milestone or i need to do a vlog or something like that but typically five videos a week and then yeah so share me out if you want to get be a part of that game giveaway you have to subscribe and to get bigger volume of numbers you have to share it i do appreciate all you guys and what you've done uh it's been really fun and i hope to see you guys soon in the near future i'll see you guys all next video later